Hybrid War has come a long way since it was first released by Varsity. And since then, it's gotten a new installation method and some cool features. I'm gonna go through the reinstallation of it because it's changed a lot. So previously, as you remember, you'd go to the GitHub and you would do the whole cloning thing. It's somewhere here. This, no more. No more. So what you'll do, you'll open up your terminal and you'll just type par or yay, yeah, depending on what you use, dash s hybrid bar dash git. That's all you type. You'll go through the install. I already have it installed, so I'm not going through that because it takes a long time. <laughs> just be prepared for that. I mean, it is bullet rust. So there's more things. It's better though. It's very light. I'll show you in the end just how light it is. So once you've installed that, you're not done yet. It does not auto generate the config, but there's also one more thing you need to do. So do sudo pacman dash s kava. You need kava installed. Oh wait, no, it's not pacman, it's paru. And you'll see. You'll see there are friends. You'll find in Kava, right there. I already have installed, so I'm not gonna do that. Actually, I'll, I'll just go through the install to show you. It's very simple. Once you got that, you're not done either yet. So what you'll do is cd over to .config, and you'll do mkdir hybrid bar. As you can see, I already have it. But a cd. Actually, I don't need a cd. I can just do hybrid bar. No, not hybrid. Hybrid bar. And you can see config.json. We'll do nvim config.json. That's not supposed to look like that, but who cares? I must have broken something. As you can see, you'll have your config here, which there is actually a default config, or not default, but an example config in here that you can find here. So you can just plop that into it, and you can see it's got a bunch of example stuff, so if you want to put stuff in there, I actually recommend going to the stop files here and looking at the config. They have some stuff there that you can look at, like all this. I've got my config the way I want to show you, so go back to this and close out of this. Yes. And then to run it, all you have to do is type in hybrid bar, and then I would re and I'd recommend you put in this one here, and there you go. You got this, this is how I have it configured, and you'll see this here, you'll be confused, but if you saw my config, you'll know what this is. So say you want to play, like, some music, you know, you know, you could just do, it'll show the bars for music you want to do. So yeah, it, it just works. It's pretty, it's pretty good. I like it. It's very neat, but I think only one other bar has that, so it's almost completely unique. I recommend, you know, adding that. I overall the new hybrid is great. Really quick though, I'm gonna show you like you wanna put it inside your launch config so you don't have to start it every time you start up your computer. So you what you wanna do is nvim dot config slash hyper slash that. So what you wanna do add your config right here, exec once hybrid bar. There you go. Because now you've got you got it so it'll start every time one starter. It's a lot easier than just having to run it every time. So there's the hybrid bar. Got quite a good feature set. It's a lot better than the start. A lot less basic. Well, it's still basic. It's very like minimalistic, but it works. It's functional and it looks nice. It's very light. In fact, I promised you I'd show you how light it is. So let me show you. Pop right here and I'll show you. So let me search for hybrid. It's literally using 36 megabytes of RAM, 0.4% of CPU. This is an extremely light bar. It uses practically no resources while being like very functional. Say I want to play some music while it's doing that. Even while playing music, it still barely uses this much CPU. It's very light. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next video. Goodbye.